Minneapolis city leaders say they, make, they are making history in the number of affordable homes being built. Today, the mayor highlighted that progress. Here's Kaya Edwards. Here in the Harrison neighborhood, city leaders are saying Curry Commons is just one of many new developments prioritizing what's called deeply affordable housing. Deeply affordable means units are available at or lower than 30% area median income. Families mayor Jacob Fry says he's prioritized producing such uh, housing since the day he became open. mayor. Now, about five years later, we are producing more affordable housing than we ever have in our city's history. He says there were 264 closings on deeply affordable housing for rent last year, compared to 41 on average between 2011 and 2018. We are producing six times, more than six times the amount of deeply affordable, low-income housing than we did in those seven years. Housing leaders say 30% AMI or under can translate to a family of four making about $35,000 a year. Many of the deeply affordable units developed in recent years are in council member Jeremiah Ellison's ward. In 2017, when I was first running, it was a little bit controversial to say in North Minneapolis that you wanted to invest more in affordable housing. It was seen as uh, where all the affordable housing already was. He says after that, rents increased and incomes did not. Obviously, we couldn't have seen the economic shortfall that was created because of COVID. But the one thing that we did and that we did as a council and invested in as a city was more affordable housing at mixed levels. Uh, but yes, even in North Minneapolis, the other levels 31 to 60% AMI are considered affordable, whereas the 30 and under is deeply affordable. Mayor Fry says $320 million has gone into it all since 2019. We have very deliberately put money not just into production, but into preservation. Mayor Fry says 23 projects are already funded to eventually provide more than 2200 affordable units for families citywide. Kaya Edwards, Carol Evan News.